In this short Abacus tutorial, we are going to walk through the process of creating a finite element analysis for a single notch plate shown here. We are going to do this in a couple of stages. First, we will focus on the model development in the graphical user interface. Then we will use a MATLAB script to change the file. Finally, after running the new script, we will discuss the results. In this tutorial, we are going to use both triangular and square elements. After opening the graphical user interface of Abacus, you can start by clicking on standard explicit model. Here, make sure that your working directory uh, is set correctly. Then save the new model. I will name this model database single crack and hit OK. To start the model, we are going to create a new part. This can be done by finding the button on the toolbox. Name this simply sample. Change <coughs> the type to 2D planner and then set the approximate size to 5. By clicking continue, we will get into an editor window where we will start to create our new part using connected lines. The crack tip is going to be at 0, 0.0. The next point we will have at minus 0 0.5, 0 0.0005. This will make uh, a simple crack by separating two facets. Then start drawing our simple element, which has a length of one by one. So the points are going to be at 0 0.5 and, and minus 0 0.5. After drawing the bottom left corner, which will be minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, the second face of the crack uh, will go to minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.0005, and then finish by clicking on the origin. We can terminate this comment by clicking escape or clicking on the red X in the bottom left corner then we can hit done to go back to the part module. To be able to mesh uh, the crack tip and the surrounding area using a much finer mesh, we can divide this part into facets. First, we will do it by creating a square at minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.1, until 0 0.5, 0 0.1 and then we will make the mesh even finer on the crack propagation path. This can be done with a simple line, terminate the command and hit done. Now we are actually ready with the part. We can move to the properties section. Here we can see that Abacus actually divided our original part into subfaces. Moving on to the property module, we have three steps to complete here. First, we'll create our UMAT material, name it UMAT LM, then add a user defined material where the young modulus is going to be a very small number. Then the Poisson's ratio can be 0.3. This will not make any difference in the actual simulation. Then add a solution dependent variable, which will be 16 in the two dimensional case. Then click OK. Now we will actually assign this material to a section, which can be done by creating a new solid section. We can name it sample sec and then uh, create and click continue. We have the preselected material which we actually accept. Then we will associate this section with our part, create the first set, and then by selecting all the parts, uh, clicking done, clicking OK 
this is actually ready we can move on to the next module in the assembly module we are creating a new instance we have only one part but we have to leave the mesh uh, creating independent click ok here we will create the set and then I found it much easier to use predefined sets and then assign it to boundary conditions to actually record all the reaction forces from the top we will create a reference point which will be positioned a bit higher than the actual top from the tools menu select reference point and then the newly created node we will connect this with the top later on create the remaining sets by expanding the assembly tree first create the reaction point select the reference point click done we will do the same first with the top select the top edge click done the bottom edge which we'll name BTM and then finally the bottom left corner which we will constrain later on in the X direction and click done do not forget to save the model time to time and then we can move to step here we will create our actual simulation steps in the toolbar click create step the name can be left set one and the type static general here make sure that the nonlinear geometry is off the actual time interval for the first step is going to be 0 0.5 the iteration method is going to be fixed the first step will contain 50 steps with 0.01 increment size click ok then we will create our second step which we will leave as it is in the second step <coughs> our interval is going to be 0 0.4 and the increment is going to be similar to the first fixed however in this we will have 400 increments with a much smaller 0 0.001 increment size our second job is to modify our output request here we will only request the reaction forces and the displacement for this model click OK and dismiss the window now we can move to the next module in the interactions we will connect the top with the reference point this can be done by creating an equation as the first set at the top as the second the reaction point the degrees of freedom are going to be connected in the y direction put one and minus one and click ok save the model and move on in the next module we will create the boundary conditions first we will constrain our bottom in the y direction make sure that the actual boundary condition is created in the first analysis step click continue find your predefined sets in the bottom right corner select the bottom set and set zero for the y directional translation we will do similarly for the bottom left corner however here we will constrain the first degree of freedom so the trans translation in the x direction to apply the load we will do the same thing however we will select the reference point where we will add one for the amplitude in the y direction of translation then create a table here make sure 
that the given steps are measured in the total time so initially our amplitude is going to be zero when we reach one the amplitude is going to be 0 0.01 finish this comment by clicking ok here make sure that your actual table is selected and then terminate and move on to the meshing part our last step is to generate the mesh make sure that we define the mesh on the part the first thing to do is see in your instance that will give an average element size it comes with a default which we will reduce by half by clicking apply we will get a reasonable estimation what we have just set however this is not enough near the correct tip. In order to increase the mesh density there, we will seed a few edges. First select the middle parameter, select all edges. For this you have to hold shift, click done and set the size to 0 0.01. Finally select the three edges of the actual correct tip make sure to select all of them click done and set the size to 0 0.005 to set the mesh control select the whole part unselect the mapping algorithm and make sure that you use both square and triangle elements as it is possible now to mesh the instance click yes this will create approximately 4500 elements in the job module create a new job based on this model name it single crack and click continue click ok to terminate open the job manager and ask Abacus to write an input file. Theoretically, this will create a single crack.inp file. Now let's move to MATLAB. Make sure that you downloaded both the MATLAB script and the Fortran file for Abacus. Here, start tapping the command Abacus to face field UEL in parenthesis first give the name of the input file which we will going to convert as a string this will be single crack dot INP then we will give the desired material parameters this We'll start with the Yang modulus, which we will set to 210. The second constant is going to be the Poisson's ratio, which we will take 0 0.3. The third parameter is going to be the thickness of our element, which is in default 0. Point, sorry, 1.0 the fourth parameter actually accounts for numerical stability so it can be a very very small value then we will give the material parameters for the face field element first the length scale which is two times larger than our smallest element size and then the correct surface energy which we will have 2.7 on the power minus 3 by clicking okay the algorithm is going to create a new input file for abacus and it will replicate the fortune file accordingly 
now we can go back to Abacus, create a new job. However, the source is now going to be an input file. Select the new input file created by MATLAB and the general tab. Don't forget to add the Fortran file for the UEL. Finally, click OK twice and then finally submit the job. After a few minutes, the job is completed. Now we can click on results. We see all the axes that we will remove. For that, we will create a display group from the UMAT elements. Click replace and close the window. The second job is going to set a uniformly zero scale and show all the featured edges. This will clean all the small elements by scrolling down to the 15th solution dependent variable we can see the face field which represents the crack in our simulation to actually display the reaction forces we can look at the odb results click continue select the results for the unique nodules select the displacement in the y direction and the reaction force in the same direction then we have to tell abacus on which point we would like to have these results this is going to be the reference point plot these results to combine the displacement and the force you can operate on the xy data click continue type combine and in parentheses first add the displacement with a comma separate the reaction forces and plot the data this bump at the end is actually due to the relatively large increment step as we discussed it in our article you can play with smaller and smaller increments which unfortunately is going to increase your simulation time Finally, to conclude, in this simple tutorial, we show how to create a simulation using the Abacus UEL option to model brittle fracture. For this, we created a model in the graphical interface of Abacus. Then we used a MATLAB script to co convert the original input file to a new one, which included different layers of finite elements. Then I showed a few tricks how to post-process the actual results.